I'm Ms. Arcastic, and in this video our tutorial, we're going to be drawing an orange wow. with hairy legs. Why? I don't know. But we are. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. <laughs> If you're just joining us, this is the June Drawing Bonanza where I am challenging you to join me every single day in the month of June to draw with me. I'm posting a video every single day for the month of June, so if you're just joining me now, you can go back and watch all the other videos, yes. Uh, if it's day 24, that means there's 24 videos already posted only within the month of June because I am posting every single day. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it, and especially if you give me a like, thumbs up, whatever. Share the video. It really helps me out. I have a goal of getting to 100,000 subscribers. Um, yeah, so please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share. And to, with this challenge, my goal is that you show up every day, we create this community, and we improve our drawing skills by drawing every day. Because the more you practice, the better you get. It doesn't matter what point you are in your drawing career, your artist career, it doesn't matter how old you are. We always have room for improvement. And even me doing these videos, I'm improving every single video I do. So join me, subscribe, let's do this. Let's make some magic happen. And today we are creating an orange. Here we go, orange time. Well, let's begin with a little wavy line. From there we're gonna do two lines up and connect them with a an oval. Now anytime I'm going too fast, just please hit that pause button and you can hit play when you're ready for me to continue. You can go back and watch any of the steps as many times as you want. That is a cool power powerful thing about YouTube. I love it. It's wonderful. It really is. I love, I've learned a lot from all kinds of YouTube creators. All right, add a nice big stem out there, and we're gonna do a orange off the vine, or off the, off a branch. We're gonna include part of that branch and branches, right, this the stem is. And we gotta include a nice little leaf on there. I always appreciate a nice little leaf on my orange. I don't know why, it's just like, yeah, nature yo. Anyways. So we got a nice little leaf in there. And boom, nice big orange. Now we have some bumpy texture sometimes on oranges. So if you have some bumpiness on your variety, sometimes they're smooth, sometimes they're not. Depends on what kind of orange you kind of usually eat. So you do you. If it has some bumpies, you can give it some bumpies. If not, don't worry about it. Make the orange that you like to eat. That's the goal. All right, on either side, big circles. You gotta get it some eyeballs. If it doesn't have a face, I mean, I don't wanna eat it. I'm just kidding, I don't even eat meat. <laughs> ah, dear. Okay, give it some eyes. Give it some eyes. Color in the dark of the eyes, leaving just those circles, nice and white. Yeah, I'm, guys, I'm getting, telling you, I've done a lot of videos in the last little bit. Woo! Getting a little, a little crazy. Yeah, that's what happens when you're talking to yourself in your art studio, making videos. All right, I like to add some detail lines around the eyes to give it some texture because it makes it look cool. All right, let's give it a cute, little mouth. I like, I'm making this a cute orange today. A little, little lowercase w. Oh, it's so cute. Now you see what happens is when we shrink, we spread the eyes apart, we bring that mouth up in between there. That makes it extra cute. That is the style of kawaii, the art of cute. And I absolutely, I absolutely adore it. Just, I mean, it's cute. It's just so cute, right? Even a bumpy orange can be cute. All right, I'm giving my orange some legs. Because I decided I'm going to. That's, what, that's right. Uh, you know what, here's the thing guys, when I am drying these, I literally go in here with no plan. I'm making it up as I go. That is, that is what's happening. I am making this up. You're watching me make up this drawing. And I'm teaching you how to do it as I do it. All right, two ovals around the legs to make it look like the legs are going into those shoes. And we're going to bring two lines down. I like to do big, 
chunky shoes on my cartoons. So bring this across. Of course, you gotta do some sound effects while you're drawing. Especially when you're drawing and you're spending a lot of time by yourself, you gotta entertain yourself with some sound effects. Why not? Why not? You might be wondering why. I say why not? Let's just do it. Sound effects are cool. I also grew up in the 90s and that was kind of the thing. <laughs> If you watch Bill Nye the Science Guy, you'll quickly understand that everything in the 90s had a sound effect, doesn't matter what. All right, now, if you wanna make it extra fun, you can give, you can give your orange some leg hair with some diagonal lines. <laughs> uh, it looks so funny, I love it, okay. Uh, we got some weird plus cute happening in this one. Guys, it's gonna get, I'm sure it's gonna get weirder because I'm on video 24 and so, woo! In a really short amount of time. It's not like I don't do this all the time. I'm doing this, I'm doing a lot right now. All right, go ahead and color in your orange and your favorite colors. And, what else, favorite colors. Oh yeah, and your own choice of our Makey Medium. And hey, if you haven't already, I'm gonna say it one more time, because I really, really, really need your help. Getting to 100,000 subscribers, guys. It's been my goal the last, like, three years. I mean, isn't it every YouTuber's goal? I mean, yeah. But hey, I really am determined to get there. And when you keep working at something, and do then you're eventually gonna get where you wanna go, right? And that's my cool thing with this. I just really, really wanna get there. Cause I like YouTube. I just like it. I like it better than the other social media platforms, to be honest. I spend no time on them. Not really. I just think YouTube's great because people are teaching everybody all kinds of things. All kinds of interesting things. You can learn about lawn care, how to cut your grass real cool. About literally anything with YouTube. I mean, I'm sure you can do that with the other ones as well, but I like how in depth YouTube can be. I mean, I do make the same videos in 15 second form, but it's a little bit tricky to follow along and do this in 10 seconds or 15 seconds. And I can just take you, walk you through it, and you can listen to me make sound effects. See? There's a difference. All right. What color leg does an orange have? I don't know. I've never seen them. I'm gonna make it brown. Like a tree trunk or branch. Or whatever. But if you can you can make yours green if you want it to match your leaf. Or orange. I don't know. You do you. Hmm. I'm gonna do blue shoes. Because it matches orange. They like to complement each other. They also create contrast. That's a true fact anyways. Not a misertastic fact, but a real one. Sometimes I have misertastic facts, sometimes I have real facts. That was a real fact. Misertastic fact clarify. It's something that I say I'm not really sure of, and I say, I think, but you need to double check. That's a misertastic fact. It means that you need to go fact check me, because I'm not quite sure about my own quote. But this is a real fact that I know for sure. There's a difference. Question everything. All right. Adding some shading. Adding some shading. Why? Because it adds detail. Look at how much more cute it is. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we got some shading. But, like I said in the earlier episodes of this fabulous bonanza, I'm not impressed with Artist Loft. One, Michaels is selling them for six bucks a piece in Canada. Anyways, um, and number two, all of a sudden, they were, I'm 99% sure I did not pay for them originally that price. That is a price of a Windsor Newton, last time I checked. So now, I'm like, why am I paying for Arsloff? I'm gonna go get Windsor Newton, hello. And 
also, these are lasting, well, I bought them a couple days ago and they're almost gone. So when, so Ernst Loft, if you, if you hear the, my complaints and my rants, I just want you to know that I'm dissatisfied and I will be re-satisfied with you if you make a change. One, either in your prices, I don't mind paying for less quality if uh, it's cheaper, but it's not. And the quality's not making me happy right now. So make a change, that's what I'm saying. All right, once you're done, your lovely orange is done. Don't forget to give me a, a like and subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next episode, which will be day 24. I'll tell you right now what we're gonna make. It's on my list. My list says tomorrow we are making an octopus. Oh, tomorrow's day 25. This is day 24, right? I'm so confused. Yeah, my list says tomorrow I'm gonna be drawing for you in octopus, but of course, don't worry. It's not gonna be a normal octopus. I mean, look at my orange. So join me tomorrow. Let's make a cool octopus. I'm gonna blow your mind. You're gonna add your own artist flavor. If you wanna add anything else to your orange design, go for it and please add your own artist flavor. If you upload it to any social media, please take me at Ms. Artastic because I am at Ms. Artastic on absolutely anything and I will see you tomorrow. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.